So um, another question we get very commonly is about protein. And uh, someone asks, you know, what about all that protein in the diet? Won't it wreck my kidneys? So I think one of the important things to understand is that a ketogenic diet is not necessarily a high protein diet. A lot of people uh, who are doing the lazy keto thing uh, tend to just replace the carbs and starches that they're eating with more protein and think that's good enough. Uh, so in several ways, this is uh, not a good idea, though it's not necessarily dangerous. So uh, let's address the danger question first. Uh, as long as your kidney and liver is healthy, there is no evidence to support a high protein diet damaging your kidney or liver. Other things that cause damage to the kidney and liver, for instance, smoking, alcohol abuse, and things like that, when they cause damage to the liver, then putting more protein on top of that is a bad idea. So when you have liver or kidney damage, a high protein diet is something you want to try and avoid. But a high protein diet on its own is not going to cause kidney or liver damage. And there have been studies uh, to show that. Um, now, when it comes to putting a lot of protein into a ketogenic diet, it's actually kind of counterproductive under most circumstances. Uh, when you're trying to get into a deeper state of ketosis, the one thing you want to avoid is um, spiking your insulin levels and carbs are the macronutrient that spike your insulin levels the most no doubt but proteins come in second place and when you're eating a lot of protein you're still going to be keeping your insulin levels fairly high and key and thereby conversely keeping your ketone levels fairly low so the main important macronutrient on a ketogenic diet is fat so the ketogenic diet that we make for instance is ultra low carb high fat, moderate protein. And we normally recommend anywhere from 0.6 to 0.8 grams of protein per kilo body weight, per kilo lean body mass. Uh, 